We are at Bradford for the National Points Championship Shootout Round 10, the final. Today we will find out who will hold the silver roof in 2024. Tonight's round sponsored by American Racer. Up first we have the Shootout Junior Draw sponsored by Stock Signs and it's Ralph who will be doing that. So we've got Ralph here with our Shootout Junior Draw. Are you ready to pick these cars out Ralph? Yeah. But who's your favourite driver? Tom Harris. Tom Harris. But who's, who's your uncle? His uncle, is Mark Barmy, is he Mark, yeah. But he, Tom rolled him last time, didn't he? Is he still your favourite driver? Good, right, let's pick these cars out, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, no looking, no peeking. Let's pick the first one out. Lee Yeah, firstly, pop it down there on the floor for me. Superstar, ready, next one. Two, Paul Paul, Paul you're next out. Hey, <laughs> hey, next one. Oh, you're doing good with no, no peak in there. 20 Liam Gilbank. 20 Liam, you are. I know, you're not last, you're not last, Liam. Thank <laughs> you. Liam's normally last, you see. 16 Matt Newsom. And a bit of fluff, Matt, on that one. Are you ready? We're doing good with this. We'll see three James, James, it's you. you. You're very good with these names and numbers, Ralph. Have you been practicing? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Five or five, Frank, you in. Jamie. Really? Tommy, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> see, Tom gets really cross because he thinks we leave him till last. No, we weren't. You weren't last, though, Tom. <laughs> He's going to pick me up first. <laughs> You're his favourite. Yes. Yes. Two on two, Danny Raymond. Cheers, dude. Excellent. The one in this order. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Thanks. Right, if you stand in the middle, and you'll get your pictures. Ian, you do that picture for me. Get around there, do that picture. Yeah. So, as, we, as you know, we've had the Shootout Junior competition and Des Penny uh, chose a winner, his favourite drawing. And Sun Chris is here to present the, the picture that he's drawn for, 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 the, for the winner, which is Evie, which we've decided on, hasn't he? Yes, uh, this was all spawned by the family looking at yourself, yeah. uh, putting a post on YouTube, reaching out to the younger members yeah. of the community to draw a stock car. Yeah. A colourful stock car, I think you got a lot. Yeah, we did, we did get uh, loads. Um, it wasn't an easy decision, but uh, yes, my dad picked a one out and he's commissioned a drawing yeah. for Evie and her favourite driver. Don't yeah. know who that can be. We'll find out in a minute. Don't know yet. Evie, do you want to come in and grab your, your prize? So come on, Evie. So, your, Evie, your drawing was chosen as being the best. How, how do you feel? Um, amazing. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. And who's your favourite driver? Five from five. So, you need to come stand here, Fran Frankie, because you're her favourite driver. Right, Chris, over to you. Okay, then, Evie, there you go. You have the original drawing. Thank you. I think you said that your number was 414, if you want to yeah. raise. So, that must be linked to you somehow. Okay, <laughs> and well done. You have one as well. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no thank problem you. at all. All right, then. Thank you very much. Oh. So the Chris, you go in. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, all. So, uh, those who don't know me, I'm the Rider Dave Crosby. Uh, I'm a Royal Navy Samaritan. I've been for a long, long time. And for the last few years, I've been asked to say a few words on Remembrance Weekend to, to you, the stock our fans, about what it means to us. So, I'll see today is Armistice Day. It marks the day on the 11th, the 11th when the guns fell silent at the end of the First World War. That war has been uh, was a great war and the war that was supposed to end all wars and deliver us all our freedoms. Certainly that was not the case. We have lost service personnel and civilians in a number of invasions and a number of wars ever since then. The Second World War, the Korean War, Vietnam, Falkland, Iraq and Afghanistan will all see service personnel perish defending our freedoms and our way of life. Since 1919, the British Legion has sold poppies. They're not a mark of religion, they're not a mark of anything, they're a mark of resemblance. Sorry, remembrance for you to say thank you to those who have paid the ultimate price. 
your, your armed forces and they are your armed forces continue to operate today in a world that is really, really dangerous. You look at what's going on in Ukraine and Russia and now in the Middle East, your armed forces are protecting our interests globally. From the RAF deployed in protecting our skies, to the Army fostering NATO allies in Eastern Europe, and the Navy providing deterrence across the globe. The sacrifice of the personnel and their families does not go unnoticed. But of course we're a stock car family, and we've lost people in the stock car family in the last year. So it's only right we try to remember them at the same time. So for the F1 stock car drivers, people like 85 Pink Tucker, Terry Jackson, Earl Sesto, Ray Harris, Mouth Simple, 512 Dave McGrudden, Neil Crooks, Betty Holt, Ian Russell, Stuart Silman, and just last year, probably the best driver to never win the world final, 260, there's Berriford. Of course, we're a bigger sport than just F1, and from the F2 world, we lost drivers like 700 Bert Houghton and 900 Brynn Team. Brynn Thomas. And we're wider than just the UK. From Holland, two H2s have suddenly gone to the great racetrack. Two Veronic and Peter Kempen. And these drivers wouldn't do anything without the team members and families. So people like John Bowles, who was a mechanic for the 152 team. Neil, Neil Greenwood Eastwood, mechanic to the Jacklin team, family, family members, and Anne Sturt, Nenna Ansel, Betty Coble, a veterans member of the Ray Lee team, Ken, Ken Kirby, Kirby, Diane, Diane Morris, Morris, daughter of Andy Morris, F2653, Papa, Papa Hank Speet, father, father of Pascal Speit, from uh, Texel, who does so much for Brisker Racing. Derek, Derek Kibble. And Anne Williams, a long-term fan and Fairhurst supporter. Chris, Chris Eggleton. Gemma Dixon, who's the partner of Voice of Naval Most War, David Goddard. And, and just recently, Ian Mitch Mitchell, a scrutineer and staff manager over at Skekas all deserve to be remembered. So I'm, so I'm now just going to read two very short poems. At the end of the second poem, which evokes which the words, we will remember them. I'll ask you all to fall silent for one minute. And then the stars and the cars that are around the outside will mark the end of that time. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, tomorrow. we gave our today. They shall, they shall grow not old, as, as we that left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor all the years condemn. At the going down to the sun, and, and in the morning, we will, we will remember, remember them.
yeah, 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 totally. These going up. There's no way they're going to be straight on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not a chance. Uh, oh, sorry. sorry. Third place, Lee, and Willie, he put William. It was far more important to have him here. Yeah, definitely. Good, yeah. <laughs> third place, it was like all meeting, it was like second, third, four, you know, you could have finished anywhere in that top four, couldn't you? Yeah, obviously we were fighting for second all day, yeah. realistically. Um, obviously it would have been nice to get second, yeah, but obviously get third, to yeah. be on the podium in a major is, is always good, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we'll uh, be back to fight another day. Yeah, actually we've spoken kind of off camera, I suppose, and kind of next year it's like, we, get, we go again next year and we want to win it next year. Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, so we've got a big strip down now and um, tied it car up and everything like that. So, yeah, time that car's ready to go for next year, so we'll be jumping on that and, uh, yeah. Well. Did you know where you needed to finish in the Grand National? Because, like, it was it was between you and Matt, wasn't it? And Danny for, for second. Look, yeah, it was between me and Matt, but uh, realistically, all Matt had to do was toddle around and finish yeah. to get his 10 points, whatever it was. But, obviously, I think it would have been closer with Danny, I think, uh, for yeah. third, because, obviously, the final... The final points I would have had, they took off me because uh, obviously yes. I pulled off on what restarts so I couldn't get it started and then uh, rejoined and uh, kicked out results. So, yeah, it's one of the things. So, happy-ish. Yeah, it's happy what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Is you've got a nice tree, if you've got a Laurel. Yeah. And well, you've got happy, a... aren't you? He's very yeah. happy. And you've got a man from Granada CV. Yeah, we're going to do an interview with him now. Yeah. So, yeah, look out for that next week and possibly it might be uh, on Granada Reports ITV. Yeah. It's great exposure for the sport. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Thanks so much, Lee. Well done for coming through. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Matt, second place uh, in the fire for the Silver Reef. You've going into tonight, it, it, it could have been second, it could have been third, it could have been yeah. fourth, it could have been... Yeah, I, I kind of feel from myself I got what I deserved because yeah. obviously a week ago I was second by like 15 points, had a no score at Hennesford through engine yes. trouble. So I feel like I regained what I, what I had anyway. But yeah, it, it was a, for me it's been a really good meeting, yes. you know. 
It's been a very good stock car meet in. The final in particular was a brutal yeah. stock car race. The final was really hard work because as much as I need, I wanted to win, I needed second, I needed yes. the points. So I was trying to be cautious, but then through being cautious, I weren't quick enough. Yep. So then I started sort of getting it back and I got to Craig at the end and then obviously got the win, which, yeah, yeah. to be fair, I think we've had a workout. That's like the sixth one I've had this year. It's yes. the most I've had in one season. So as a whole, it's been good. Yeah, I think mean, major championship and you've yeah. got kind of runner up. It's that runner up thing again. Oh, it's, I know. <laughs> Go on, tell them. <laughs> Job, no, just, no. <laughs> it is what it is. It like, oh, yeah. uh, runner up is runner up. It yeah. ain't a winner. And, and as much as I'm disappointed, you can't take it away from Tom. Uh, at the end of the day, he does what he has to do. The rest of us, unfortunately, I, I, I don't want to beat around the bush, but we aren't good enough. At the end yeah. of the day, he doesn't. He, he does it fair and square. And, and at the end of the day, we've got to improve our game to challenge him. That's yeah. how I see it. Yeah. But overall, happy with second. Yeah, you can't you can't yeah. be gr angry yes. at that. Yeah. Like, I'm more forget the shoot hours side. I've had a good day today. Yes. That's how yeah. I should look at it. Yeah. So. It's been a good. And the thing is, we go back to headness, but it's like it's just stock car racing. You yeah. have no score. One yeah. weekend. I, I said it after the final. Uh, my, my biggest trouble, and it'll always be my trouble unless I change it, is I do too many meetings in a year. Yeah. When it comes to the shootout, my machinery is it's, it's tired. It's ruined. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think if you look back, I've probably done double the meetings on shale this year to what some of the other shootout I've done. Yeah. Well, that. It ain't good for your car. No. So unless I do something different, uh, and whether I either miss meetings or whether I use a different car, where it doesn't matter. But that—that's what always lets it down. Yeah. It's not—it's not bad machinery. It's just that them cars cannot take doing what we no. do 50 times a year. But that's yeah. what I do. Well, we start in March. That's, that's a long it. time ago, isn't it? And I know it, it doesn't work like that. But I bet if you did a shootout on. May's score, I'd yeah. be the winner. Yes. Because everything over the winter, I, I refurb everything and everything's fresh. And yeah. like I say, when it gets to now, it's just it's just tired. Yeah. yeah. But maybe something to think about for Yeah, year, that's it. Massive well done for second yeah, place. Thank you very much. Pleasure, Matt. Thank you. So, Tom Harris, here we are at Bradford. You have won the shootout, the absolute top of it. You've not only got the gold roof, but you've got the silver. How does that feel? Yeah, it's fantastic. To, uh, to win any major championship is a, a fantastic feeling, but to retain it is uh, is even more special. So uh, yeah, really, really pleased. And will you go gold, silver, gold, or will you go gold, silver? Oh, is it just, have you decided that We'll leave that, that to the sign writer. We'll leave that to the sign writer. Uh, James will come up with something snazzy, no doubt. So, well, the um, car looks very, very, very well at the moment. How did that last race go for you? Because uh, for those of you who weren't here, there was uh, quite a ding dong in the uh, in the Grand National. Yeah, it's, uh, it's stock car race, isn't it? You know, the, we need to entertain and we need some, some bumpers flying and uh, we need to put bums on seats. So, um, you know, I went for a big, big one down there on Lee. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. You know, last week it may have done. It yeah. was, you know, it's one of the things, same as him, Will Final. He, he gave me a massive hit, Will Final. You know, he didn't come off it and I managed to bounce out then. You know, I didn't come off it. So uh, it's, it's part of the game and, uh, you know, that's why we uh, will we'll suit up and go next week. And in the heat, actually, you also had another ding dong with yeah. me because I think he put you out coming out of turn two. You had a you were up yeah. against the wall. It looked like you actually might go. I'm sure it felt like you might go over. Yeah, it, 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 uh, Lee got me in the side rock coming off the corner, and it was so wet out there, and it slapped me in the fence. And then, you know, four or five laps later, I managed to catch him, and he was in the exact same position. So I thought, you know, let's see how you it, like it. It was a replica. Yeah, it, it was. It was, it was uh, a replica. You know, and like I said, you know, it's, it's nothing against Lee. He's a fantastic driver. Um, but we need to entertain. We need, we need people to come and watch us and uh, we need to entertain. So, uh, well, I, so spoke to, I spoke to Lee afterwards and he was completely fine about it. It's, it's like, you know, that's so what At the end of the day, what happens on track should stay on track. You know, you, everyone gets high rate and that in the pits, but you know, what happens on track should stay on track and we should be able to go for a beer in the bar after and, uh, you know, and get on with it. Massive respect between the two of you, yeah, basically. And that's, and that's exactly how it should be. That's exactly how it should be. You know, Lee's one of the, the three or four uh, that would always be up for winning the shootout. Yep. Um, you know, for one reason or not, he, he, he hasn't had, he's had a couple of bad rounds and, um, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to win the shootout in style. Unfortunately, I got a, a puncher in the final. It just, just wasn't meant to be, but, you know, I, I go balls out to win every week and in every race I go in. So, uh, just, so just looking at the season uh, in terms of the shootout season, was there any points at which you thought, I've got a fairly healthy lead here? I mean, because uh, you didn't go so well early on, did you? You were kind of lagging no, behind I, a little I bit. I didn't have a great Sheffield and it is what it is, isn't it? You know, I was, uh, when I raced Catherine's car last week, I was uh, going really well in the final. I cut my way through the pack and unfortunately the gearbox blew up and, you know, I think I've had a one that final and I think I'd have had it sewn up yes. before I come here. So um, it's not what the fans want to see. You know, they want to see it go down to last race. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the shootout format, you know, in the future. I personally believe it should go, the silver roof should go to the person that dedicates the South, uh, like Matt Newson does every meeting. 
And if you're on top of the points after all those meetings, then you deserve to be the champion. That's how it used to be back that's in the how, old days. And that's how it? I believe it should be. A silver roof for a 10 round uh, champion, you know, it, it is. Lee Fairhurst, do you think then that p- p- perhaps that should be uh, that? That or a different, perhaps yeah. a different c- c- scenario. I, I do believe that the shootout needs to happen. Yeah. Uh, it makes interesting racing, as you've seen tonight. Totally. Um, but I do believe that it should be for something other than the silver roof because, you know, as Matt said before, you know, he gets to this time of the year and his car's worn out. Yeah. His equipment's his equipment's wrecked. And as someone that does less meetings, his equipment's still really good. So um, I believe that the, the, the the silver roof should go to the person that wins the overall season points, that puts the effort in, goes week in and week out to entertain the crowd, and uh, they should be the champion. That's an interesting perspective. Well, we'll see how what the uh, BSCDA come, yeah, out, yeah, come out with. It'll be interesting. Like I said, I do, I do believe something needs to be done. I think this year has been the, the weakest shootout as far as car numbers that it, there's ever been. Uh-huh. Um, you know, it, massive thanks to the sponsors for, for putting totally, the money up. Them to really put well. it up to, to help us drivers come and entertain and... Uh, you know, make it a really worthy championship at the end. Sure. Well, you've done extremely well. So I think, you know, other than that, apart from anything else, really great job and congratulations. Thank you very much. Really good job. Thank you. So that's it for the 2023 season. Tom Harris has won the Silver Reef for a fourth time in a row. We'll be with you over the winter months where we bring you our winter content. But that's it for this racing season.